the world shall see him no more first lesson. Hebrews chapter 8 verses 8 to 10, for finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, said the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, said the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind, and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. Second lesson, Hebrews chapter 9 verses 27 and 28, And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment, so Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Golden text, John chapter 14 verse 19, Yet a little while, and the word sit me no more, but ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. Heaven and earth will pass away but the word of God cannot pass without fulfilling. A look at the world today clearly shows that we are the luckiest generation. If you search for God you may not see him. If you try seeing him and acquainting yourself with him you may not succeed but if he wants you he can get you in one second. Those he loves are none of him. Those who seek him with pure hearts will see him but those who blaspheme him and walk recklessly can never find him. The world would like to see him but cannot because they are not acquainted with his words. As for the children of God, they see him and have known him as it was written of them. Our Lord Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today and forever. History is today repeating itself. Those who seek him diligently and in humility will find him, and quickly too, but those who seek him haughtily with pride and arrogance can never find him. God is on earth it was written that Elijah would precede the Messiah yet when both Elijah and the Messiah came the people did not believe even though the two heavenly personalities were physically with them. God is now on earth with men but the world is still searching for him. He knows those who have been waiting diligently and patiently for him and he has come to gather them unto himself. Those who persist in doubt, sin and blasphemy shall never see him. If you tell the worldly people that he has come they will persecute you and plot to eliminate you. A dog that tries to eat feces and cannot find it turns round and says to himself, what would I do with the smelling thing anyway? Our Lord Jesus Christ told his disciple that he spoke to the Jews in parables but to them he spoke plainly. He also told them that to he that hath shall more be added and he that hath not, the little he hath shall be taken from him and given to him that hath. He turned to Judas and said, If you love me keep my commandments. Those who love God must purify themselves. When Asesu in Anjabom projected to one of the astral planes and demanded to see leader Olamba Olamba Obu, the entity he met told him that leader Olamba Olamba Obu is everywhere around him but that he could not see him because his mission was evil, that if his mission were good he would see him. God has revealed himself to very many people in the world but those who have not seen him continue to doubt and argue. It is not wise to argue with them as they have neither seen him nor known him. First lesson, Hebrews chapter 8 verses 8 to 10, For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, said the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, said the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind, and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. This is not the time to go to churches or to people to beg them or force them to know God because he has already revealed himself to those who are his. A spiritual song says, Father we hear you have come, reveal yourself to us. He has revealed himself and his chosen ones see him and he knows them by name. People in faraway India, Russia, England, the Americas and Germany know the Father and adhere to his injunctions religiously. Those in different countries are here in 34 Umbo. Those who live in Hades know him and all have come to serve him. There are, however, those that live here and sleep here but do not know him because they do not keep to his instructions. 
those that are his do not need to be told anything about him because he puts his laws into their minds and writes them into their hearts. He talks to them and lives with them and reveals everything to them. Very many see him everywhere and he chats with them, teaches them and acquaints them with his ways. Even right now he is talking to some people. He reveals himself to those in jails, hospitals and markets. Even sitting on your dining table he is there with you talking with you. Just clear the bush and I will set the fire. Just go out and tell people to refrain from sin and accept the baptism of the Holy Spirit and he will reveal himself to them if he likes. As for you, I have warned you repeatedly to refrain from eating flesh, from drinks, from fornication and all kinds of sin. I have told you that if you refrain from this, Christ will draw nigh unto you. Second lesson, Hebrews chapter 9 verses 27 and 28, And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment, so Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. His second advent will not be for sinners but for those who have been waiting for him in purity. He is not coming for the world again but for those who have repented and are obedient to his words. Those that seek to know him must repent and refrain from sin. They can then fast and pray and he will reveal himself according as he pleases. The world and even his disciples did not know him except Peter because it is not flesh and blood that reveals him but the Father. Do not advise or instruct God on anything because he knows what is good for you, the when and how of you. Not revealing himself to you does not mean that you are not his. He will serve you and do things for you but only those that purify themselves see him. This sermon is intended to guide you so that no one would deceive you into going to the river, mountain, Jerusalem or Rome to see God. Golden text, John chapter 14 verse 19, Yet a little while, and the world seat me no more, but ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. The world shall not see him because they are still neck deep in waywardness, wickedness and sin. However you who have been waiting for me patiently and in humility and righteousness have seen me and will continue to see me lavishly. You will see me because I am always with you seeing the Father in spirit is more beautiful than seeing him physically but he is everywhere. If only you can refrain from sin, bearing of grudge and malice and purify yourself, you will see him and wherever you are he will be with you serving you, whether in your examinations, lawsuits or whatever. Anywhere you are, even in the aeroplane, your father is there with you because the promise is for his children only. I have told you everything. I have never told you to go to America the mountain or Bayakpan or anywhere else to see God. I have never told you that I am God nor have I ever told you that God has forsaken you. I have always told you that God is with you. The world will not see me but you will continue to see me because what is written is about my children. My children are those who get worried each time they sin and who then confess those sins and beg the Father for the Father to reconcile them back unto himself that they may continue to see him. He alone can lock and unlock and nothing is impossible with him. You may wish to go to Calabar to see the father but you have no money. You find a car that takes you and when you get to your destination the person who drove you refuses to take money from you. That person is the father. You say that you wish to have a wife who will be a mother, sister and friend to you. You then suddenly find a sister with all those qualities walk right into your room. It is none other than the father coming to you. You cry that you have no mother or father or relatives and you do not know how you will go through life and then things suddenly start coming to you in different ways. That is the father manifesting himself to you. He is always with you so doubt no more and worry yourself no more. Stop going about complaining. Take everything that bothers you to your father in prayer for he is always there to serve you and do everything for you and be everything for you. A word is enough for the wise. He that hath ears to hear let him hear. May the Father bless his holy word. Amen.